welcome to this demonstration of my version of a high-speed elevator. Uh, I'll show you the inner workings of it. Um, let me tear it down here. So this elevator, it only goes up um, because it tears down from the bottom versus uh, the top. But um, So here's how it works. Notice the European style switch. Down is on. And you could see that a lot better probably if there wasn't all that glass in front, but if you don't have the glass, it throws you out after about uh, the fourth floor. So uh, let's have a closer look at it. Oh, you'll notice these uh, uh, big construction lights here that I made. This is so I can work on it 24-7. First thing you'll notice is the alternating blue and green. Each layer is uh, a mirror of the next. So all the green layers are the same, or almost the same, and all the blue layers are almost the same. So it makes it easier to construct if I do it that way. It also makes it easier to figure out how it works. The only difference is that every other green layer and every other blue layer has a slightly different power routing uh, scheme. I call it a, uh, a, uh, a serpentine power conduit. Let me uh, see if I can fly a little bit here. Okay, now that I'm up in the air, you can see that there's this blue block hanging out on the underside of the first green and on, on the underside of the third green. Um, because the power needs to um, zigzag between one side or the other or uh, it'll short out. Um, another interesting thing that happens at this uh, uh, serpentine uh, power coupling is that there needs to be a delay between each stage otherwise the elevator goes too fast and uh, the plungers close on you and you're trapped inside and the only way out is to break the glass. So um, let's have a look at it from the back. So it has a certain a certain nice symmetry to it. Uh, let's take a ride. Fly around here and then land. Okay, so you can, you want to be about in the middle, but it really doesn't matter. Um, standing on either side of a piston will, um, will elevate you. So uh, here's my other switch. I'll hit the switch and we'll go up. And here we are at the top. Now, since, uh, as I said, the elevator doesn't really uh, take you back down, the way most people get down is they have a huge swimming pool at the bottom of their building and they jump off. But since I'm in creative mode, it doesn't matter, I can just jump right off. So, thanks for watching.